One part of all the releases Sonic will add in August 2020 is the all new NSM, which stands for Network Security Manager. It is replacing CSCMA, formerly known as Cloud GMS. And this video is everything you need to know about it, going from bulk registration, zero touch deployment, template and reporting. Hi, I'm Jean-Pierre Talbot, SC for SonicWall in Canada, helping customer and reseller get the most out of their network security solution. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on upcoming videos. Also, all the link to the content I'll mention will be in the description box down below. So let's get going. As an SC, I don't like to hear about stuff. I want to see it. So first step into management of multiple firewall is registration and zero touch deployment. So let's see this. First log in to cloud.sonicwall.com. Click on my SonicWall. Under my workspace, select register product. Here you can pick which tenant you want. Tenant would be your customers. And I want to point your attention to the bottom where I can import a CSV for bulk registration. Here, if your firewall is licensed for cloud management, it will be available. And I would suggest turning on zero touch to make deployment easy. Next page, we will have licensing showing up. So if you bought the firewall without NSM or bought NSM separately, you can go in licenses here and activate that NSM license and then go back in product detail and change it to turn on zero touch and cloud management. Click on network security manager. Click on firewall and inventory. As you can see, our firewall is here, but everything is down because that firewall is unplugged right now, probably in the UPS truck being delivered to that remote office. In here, you do have groups, so you can better manage your firewall by creating groups and putting firewalls into different groups. So for instance, here we'll create one for stores. You can create another group for head office or home workers and things like this. That will be useful when we will push templates to devices. Next, into templates. This template will be about turning on basic security settings, IPS, AV, and what's not. We will put a description. And we will also turn on zero touch, meaning that when a device shows up for the very first time, it will get registered, but also we will push that template automatically to that new device. And as you can see at the very top, we are now into template view, which is exactly the UI of the firewall, but it is, it is a template actually. And here with the beauty of video editing, it's going very fast and I'm turning every single security services on. Gateway antivirus, anti-spyware, IPS, botnet, app control, and content filtering. We do have a view template details here so I can see exactly what I've done and I can decide if it's what I want and then click on done. So now my template is here and configured and ready to be used. And next step is to apply that template to a group. And here I will select to apply to the store group. So every firewall that shows up that is member of the store group will automatically receive that template with all security services on. We see that this firewall is still all in red, but I've been called by people on site saying that they just connected the firewall. So we will see this going from red to orange to green and see we still have some red, but it's work in progress. We got more green. As you can see, we do have my basic series settings that have been applied and we see date and time that it got pushed. And now the unit is fully acquired. Now this is truly awesome. Think about it. If you want to deploy 300 firewalls, First, you can register them in bulk in one easy step. Second, you can do templates that will contain pretty much all the config they will need. Then all you need to do is UPS to deliver all the firewalls to the 300 locations you have and someone to be smart enough to know the difference between power and network cable and connect the right one on the right port and the firewall will boot up call SonicWall, receive its licensing, receive all the templates it needs. So at the end, you will pretty much have deployed 300 firewall without even touching them. That might be why this is called zero touch deployment. Moving on, as you probably guessed, you can do multiple templates and apply them in bulk and push them anytime you want. And also you can monitor the status of your template being pushed. Finally, on template, Imagine you have 200 customers that are contained into 200 
tenants and one day a server you run everywhere has a security vulnerability. So short term plan is to leverage a firewall, do a policy to block that traffic. Problem is they are into 200 tenant, one firewall per tenant. So you cannot really leverage template. Well, SonicWall have a solution for this. Some call it tenant zero. So you can do a template that will be that can be pushed to every single tenant you want. So that can be one easy step to do a configuration change to all your customer in one click. NSM also allows you to connect directly to the firewall and do changes. I love the fact that changes you're doing get to be pending until you hit commit and deploy. That facilitate management, reviewing of change you've done, and also making future audit easier. Talking about future audit, NSM has a config diff button allowing you to select two configuration changes and actually have the difference between those two configurations so you can better investigate what have been done. One thing you may not have spotted, since the beginning I'm working with a TZ500 which is a Gen 6 firewall, but in no time you've seen a Gen 6 UI, everything you see is Gen 7. So it's a great feature of NSM, it will work with both Gen 6 and Gen 7 transparently, meaning that your employees do not need to learn Gen 6 UI, Gen 7 UI, you do not need to create a Gen 6 template and a Gen 7 template, you just create templates and push them to both Gen 6 and Gen 7 and NSM will figure it out for you. So it's a great advantage to make your life easier, save you time and remove potential errors. And finally, NSM is great for management, but it can also do reporting. We will first look at reporting per appliance. So go into inventory and pick one firewall. On the top menu, select monitor. And here we do have different type of reporting based on website categories, application, viruses, and what's not. We do have the details of the category we've picked, which is web categories. At the top, we can select the amount of time we want. We can also select custom timing. We'll go into drill down for social media and drill it down based on users. Please note here, I do not have any authentication set on this firewall like Active Directory and single sign-on. So it will not show any user. All it will show is unknown. So we can drill down again and go on web activity, which will show us the website that our social media that this user went during that time period we've selected. And here we see it's mainly some Facebook and very little of Instagram. Next, we also have group level reporting. So you, if you go back in manager view and go into monitor, see on the left, we have the exact same menus with the exact same functionalities. Next, we do have scheduled report. So go into schedule reports and click on rules and then click on the add button. You can give a name to that report and you can decide what you want to be included in that report. For instance, here I've select application and I, and I do wanna see the top 50 application being used. So a good idea would also be to include everything that is about the security functionality of the firewall, like viruses, intrusion prevention, spyware, botnet, and what's not. Next, you can decide if you want reporting based on one firewall or on a group of firewall. In here, you can select if you want this report daily, weekly, or monthly. Please note at the bottom, we have use custom logo, so you can put your company logo or the customer logo. And you can decide to have this report sent by email automatically. You can input, of course, the subject of the email and the body of that email. And next, you can review what you have selected for that specific report and click on create. As you can guess, you can create multiple of those reports, different report for different contents sent to different people. As you can see at the top, you can click run now, or you can actually run it for a specific period of time. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked it and see you on the next one.